Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, I'm going to install this $23 Music Lily humbucker pickup into the Squire Sonic Series Bronco bass. How good does this pickup sound? Is it better than the original stock pickup? Let's find out together. Here we go. This is going to be the first video in a new series I'm doing about hopefully unlocking the sonic potential of the Squire Bronco bass. If you missed my original video review on the Squire bass, I will leave a link below. In that review, I talked about how this single coil stock pickup has kind of a unique grindy character to it, but the noise sometimes can be off-putting. For the venues I play in and in the recording environment, I really don't like 60 hertz ground hum. So the single coil pickup that comes stock with this bass is a bit on the noisy side for me. You could also argue that the output and the tone from this uh, guitar pickup in this bass is also a bit on the weak side. So let's see whether or not we can make it better. I have three goals for this series of videos. The first one, I want to see how good I can get this Bronco bass to sound. What kind of hidden potential is in this bass? The second goal, by changing some of the pickups, some of the hardware, some of the electronics, does it actually make a sonic difference? And hopefully, for you, the viewer, it might help you decide whether or not you want to make some of these modifications yourself. And the third goal, let's have some fun. The first one we're going to do today is install this $23 Canadian pickup that I found from Amazon. This is made by Music Lily. And the reason why I chose this over the cheapest one is that this one came in white. And I thought white would look better on this particular bass. The other reason I chose this pickup is it is a humbucker rail design. So unlike the pickup that comes stock on this Bronco bass, uh, it has rails instead of six individual pole pieces, like what you would find for a Stratocaster electric guitar. This hopefully will result in more even magnetic pull, and if you do a lot of string bending, hopefully the string won't end up in some kind of null spot between the magnets. But most importantly, this is advertised as a humbucking pickup. So will it give me the tone I want without the noise I hate? Let's find out. Let's go down to the shop. Let's install this pickup. All right, so I've taken the pick guard off the Squire Sonic Bronco. And as you can see in this photo here, the wiring's pretty neatly done, but that pickup is very clearly a six pole Stratocaster type pickup. Now, there are only four strings on this bass, so it's less than ideal to have six pole pieces. And that's one of the reasons why we've gone to this dual rail pickup in the Music Lily. So here I've desoldered uh, the Squire pickup and again, taking the pickup cover off, you see six pole pieces. Now here I've installed the new Music Lily pickup into the pick guard and I have tinned the uh, leaves with some solder and let's get these soldered into the pots. So here's a photo of the reinstalled uh, pick guard onto the Bronco bass. And as you can see, uh, the dual rail Music Lily pickup does have a bit of a radius to it. All right, it's time to put this new uh, bass with the Music Lily humbucker pickup to the test. We're going to have three passes to this track. The first pass, we'll have the tone knob set at 50% for both pre and post. The second pass, we'll have the tone knob wide open for both pre-modification and post-modification. And the third pass, with the tone knob up at 100%, we'll add some full-tone OCD-style overdrive. And we'll see how both of these pickups respond to some distortion in the signal. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed that playing example. Please let me know what you thought of the tones by leaving a comment below. What do I think? Well, let's talk about the things I like. Right off the hop, the noise is gone. This humbucker is dead quiet. Even though there's no shielding paint inside the cavity, there's no noise whatsoever from this new humbucker. And that's a dramatic improvement compared to the single coil stock pickup. In terms of output, the output from this humbucker is actually a little bit lower than the original stock single coil. Let's talk about the tonality and the musicality of this pickup compared to the stock single coil. This humbucker has considerably more low end and low mids compared to the original stock single coil. So it does sound quite a bit beefier and girthier compared to the stock pickup. I think as a result of this being a humbucker, you lose some of that high-end information that the single coil had. So this humbucker does sound like it has a more rolled off and muted high-end. And as a result, you do lose some of that grindy character that the stock single coil pickup had. I also feel the overall tone of this pickup is a little more squished and a little more compressed compared to the stock single coil. Overall, I think this $23 pickup has solved the noise problem. It no longer hums. But does it actually sound better? I think that part's debatable. But please let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this content. Until next time, peace.